Chair, recognize the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Weber, for five minutes. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today marks eight years since Hurricane Ike made landfall over Galveston, Texas. This Category 4 storm ripped through communities in the city of Galveston and Galveston County, making its way inland into the Houston region. The storm caused over 100 fatalities, washed away homes, flooded communities, and shut down much of the, energies of the region's energy production. In total, this hurricane cost $37.5 billion with a B dollars nationwide, making it the third costliest hurricane in United States history. Even though Hurricane Ike caused extensive damage, we know it could have been much worse. The effects of another major hurricane on the Houston region and our nation would absolutely be devastating. Over six million people call this area home, and many of them work in critical economic sectors like health care and energy refining. The impact would be felt in every congressional district across the country. For example, according to reports published immediately after Hurricane Ike made landfall, gas prices spiked between 30 and 60 cents per gallon across many states due to the disruption in energy production in the Houston region. We do not know, Mr. Speaker, when the next big storm will hit our shores, which is why it is of paramount importance for Congress, the federal government, and our state to prioritize funding for coastal protection along the Texas coast. Progress on a comprehensive federal evaluation of our coastal vulnerabilities is long overdue. I'm grateful, Mr. Speaker, that the Texas General Land Office and the Army Corps of Engineers are moving forward in partnership on the Coastal Texas Protection and Restoration Study. Once completed, this study will make the case for coastal infrastructure projects that would qualify for federal dollars and would protect our vulnerable coastal communities, our energy infrastructure, maritime industries, and most importantly, major population centers. I am doing everything I can, Mr. Speaker, to make sure a federal study of our coast is completed expeditiously. Along with Senator Cornyn, I have introduced the Coast Act, the, which is actually the Corps' obligation to assist in safeguarding Texas. If enacted, this legislation would require the Army Corps to take into consideration existing studies and data already available to help expedite the federal government's work. This legislation would also immediately authorize any projects should they be justified. Mr. Speaker, I will continue to work with all relevant federal, state, and local leaders to expedite federal work to protect the Texas Gulf Coast from dangerous storms. This is a critical federal interest and should be a national priority. Mr. Speaker, you know that.